Welcome back everyone to another tutorial. Every game, you know, has some sort of wall jump. And today in this tutorial, I want to demonstrate how to make it work. Either from the left to the right or just straight up. And many other games also have this feature. So let's get right into it. So I've set up the scene, which uh, most of you are familiar with. If you this is your first video and you're getting into this tutorial, I highly recommend you to watch uh, the previous videos first because they are a continuation um, of the same player controller. So in the last short video, I set up the ground check as well as the um, the direction player check with the raycast to also check wall make sure that this is set up in your player also in the animator I've set up several new animations on this player on the sprite uh, next to the idol there is now a wall jump and the on the wall trying to clinch on the wall All right and for the dash by the way I used this one but we're not going into this in this video so let's go on the player and as i said make sure that you have these raycasts set up so that you have a wall check bool and a ground check bool so that this animator will work in the end today i will focus on making the fsm for the wall jump so i'm going to add a fsm to the player i'm going to call it the wall jump fsm and the first state will be input and here i'm gonna do get button down and the button will be jump which is just the normal jump button i'm also going to use for the wall jump and then i'm gonna edit as you finished send the event finished and then i'm gonna drag this over hold control and here I want to check if I'm doing a normal jump or a wall jump. So we're going to check for wall. And there will be two events or two transitions. And one transition will be named wall jump. And the other one is going to be back to input right wall jump back to input and here the first thing i want to do is get fsm bool it's right there i'm going to use the owner and i'm going to look for the direction player and here is the wall i'm going to store it in a new rival and let's just call it wall check every frame and then i'm going to do a bool test and the variable will be the wall check because i'm going to check if it's false or true if i'm on the wall then if it's true i'm on a wall i will go to the wall jump if it's not true i will go back to input and i'm going to do this F three frame. Let's make sure to connect it. And I'm zooming out a little bit. I'm gonna make here a new state. In the next state, I want to check the direction on where the wall is. Is the wall to the right of me or to the left of me? So I'm facing again to the left side or right side um, on the wall. So, and I'm going to use here, or uh, I'm going to call this state first, check direction. And the check direction, I don't want to do this by the raycast, but by input. Uh, and the input, I did this before in the dash direction. So there is the A and D. So if I'm hitting D and I'm hitting the wall, with the D, so then the wall is to the right of me. So I'm gonna check this bool for this input. 
will make sense in a bit. Trust me. Right, so I'm going to do again, get FSM. And this time I'm going to use the dash direction. And in dash direction, I will store the value in, let's say, a new variable. Um, all position every frame. Now I'm going to do a bool test again. So here, every frame. Actually, I don't need to do this every frame, but so let's just leave it off. And I'm going to do wall position. And if it's true, I want to have two new events because if the wall is to the right, I want to jump to the left on the wall. Does that make any sense? So I want to have a wall right or a wall left event. When I add, oops, not the state, when I add the transitions here, um, wall right, transition, wall left. And so if true, the wall is right or wall is left. Yeah, let's uh, <laughs> hang in there and let's first make the left state. When the wall is left, I want to jump to the right. So wall is left and I'm going to do the wall jump here first. And I want to have two wall jumps. I want to be able to jump up the wall in a straight line or jump away from the wall. That's my idea behind this wall jump. You can also set it up that you just immediately go to the right or to the left. Then you need to skip this one and then go to the next FSM. I will show in a second. But I actually liked how this one turned out. So here I'm going to do the wall jump. Let's just call it wall jump right here. And here I'm going to set velocity to D, remove this to none, do Y, and let's just do six. I want it not as high as my normal jump. I think normal jump is seven or eight. I'm just going to put six. Don't put every frame. And here we can, of course, add some juice, play sound, play sound. And here we have, I think, some sound. So, for example, add here the jump sound again. And we can also create a great object, which is always a good one. Game object. Oops, not this one. And here I want to, I made a prefab before the, for the jump. Now it's always a question, where did I save these things? Particle facts, there's the jump. As always, I should lock this. There's the jump. Spawn point. Mm, I'm also just going to do the jump here. Good. Then... I will also do the set animator trigger of specified game object of the sprite and I will do the wall jump here. As mentioned before, there are two triggers now in the animator, the dash and wall jump. So here I want the wall jump to be triggered. And what I also want is get key down. So in this stage, it will only jump up in a straight line. And if I keep on hitting space, then I will keep on jumping up. But I'm now against the left wall, but I want to now jump to the right side. I want to get the key, which is then the D. Oops. Ah! Stop skipping it. There's the D. And in case the D is 
said I want a new event is jump to right and or let it wait. So if I don't, um, within a very short amount of time, if I don't go to the right, I just want to finish. So add transitions, once it's finished, the transitions, jump to right, jump to right, and finish. Let's just drag this here. So just going to trigger a wait. And if it triggered the wait, then I'm just going to drag this down here. And here is an auto wait, a very short one of 0 0.1. Oops, <laughs> sorry, go ahead of myself. 0 0.1. Add transition, finished, finished, there, and this one goes back. And I jump to the right, I'm just going to make one more state here. And it's all a little bit, let's try to organize this a little bit. Um, the wall is to the right, let's just pull this here. And I have here one state, and let's call this the jump right. This is wall jump right with the wall to the left, <laughs> and this one is jump right. And in jump right, I'm going to do set velocity again here on the Y to 8. So I'm going to make it a little bit stronger jump. And I'm going to do add force to D. Add force to D. And here we have to be careful. The mode has to be force. And we're going to hit every frame. And I'm going to go on the X here. And I'm going to add 400. This seems a lot, but we need some force. And every frame. So I'm going to add, let's say, a weight here. so that I won't fly for eternity, I'm just going to put 0 0.3. And then I'm going to go finished. So add a transition, finished. So I give myself 0 0.3 seconds to reach another wall. In case I hit the wall before that, which I can of course do, I can do a raycast again. So let's just save quickly, go to direction player, and so I'm jumping to the right, so I can just get this raycast, which I made before, here, just going to copy it, and let's go back to the wall jump, just going to edit here, and just to go over it, um, I'm going to spawn it from my dash spawn location, Direction 60 in the world, distance 0 0.5. And in this case, I'm going to make it a hit event. And I don't want to store anything. I'm just going to make it a hit event. And I'm going to make sure that the layer mask is 1 and it's wall. So if I hit the wall, then I'm right back into action. So I don't have to wait to 0 0.3. Normal effect is you will be already there because 0.2. Three is very short, but maybe you want to have the walls very close to each other and then you can just keep on uh, jumping. Great. So the weight's in place or the raycast. So it's either the weight's finished or the raycast will finish it. Good. Now I need to copy this state here. And I want to do the same here and wall jump left. And in this state, the only thing I need to change is to get of the D. I want to get the A. Great. And this, of course, depends on your input system as well. I'm now just using the keyboard, uh, A, W, S, D, to move. And here, the event should be jump to left. Just going to delete this transition. I'm going to add 
jump to left here just to make it clean and then I'm going to copy jump to right over jump to left and here what I'm going to do is change of course the force to minus every frame 0 0.3 seconds and the ray cast direction should be minus here and once hit it's finished and finished I want to go back to the start and here's finished I want to go to the weight there we go it's quite complicated this one as you can see but let's check out if this actually works So perhaps let's not maximize. And as you can see, it's waiting for input. If I just jump, let me also turn on the gizmos. You can see he's checking here for the wall, but there's no wall. So when I'm jumping, it's just going back, waiting for input. If I'm now here, it, it sees that I'm on the wall. And as long as I don't press now, um, a because the, the wall is to the right of me if I want to go and here you can see it waits very shortly and I want to if I want to now jump to the left so I can keep on jumping like this I just set it up like that that's up to you if you want it or not but I set it up like this but if I now press a you can see it, it gives me a boost to the other side so I spa space and almost at the same time I'm doing space D, you know, like how you usually wall jump. So that's pretty cool. That's the wall jump already working. And in this game setup, you, you can see why I put a weight here. Otherwise, you, even if I spam space, it won't just jump a million times. It will wait for me and that's why it but going left to the right you can do it fast because of the raycast reset yeah so you have to play around with this a little bit and it's quite intuitive if you ask me it's working quite well so there you have it the double jump dash I'm back down great um, I hope this is very helpful for you hope you can set it up if you have any questions or problems um, just hit the discord I set up a discord channel there's a link uh, below and if you have any other requests or questions just let me know I'm gonna work on this control a little bit more I want to set up uh, perhaps some some shooting abilities uh, to, to send some magic orbs and hit some enemies um, this character also has some cool animations uh, where is the file uh, where I'm attacking as you can see here I like to set that up as well so stay tuned for that blocking yeah I could set this up as well the cast to maybe shoot some orbs this or some fireballs um, I want to set this up so that you kind of have this situation, also this dying. Wow. Or oh, this dizzy, knockback. Looks good. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like the video, and I see you next time. Cheers.